This is a tree of life for some primate species, of which there are approximately 625. All of the 625 have a common ancestor, including the one on the left. Do you notice anything different about that one? If you guessed skin, you are correct. 624 of the primate species have an all-weather outer covering. The only one that doesn't is humans. If all of us primate species evolved from a common ancestor, would it not be reasonable to expect that at least some of the species would be covered by skin as well? Simple odds should make that so. Why would only one of the 625 have a skin covering? Are the odds of that occurring one in 625? Or how about one in a billion since there are at least that many species that have appeared since the beginning of life on earth and all but humans can survive in the wilderness uncovered? Since animals with fur and weather-resistant skin could survive far better than humans, why didn't survival of the fittest allow humans to keep their outer covering? They would be able to survive far better than they are capable of today. Humans are currently the weakest species on Earth, and for the entire multi-billion year history of biology, as far as all-weather survivability goes, they can survive unprotected only in a very narrow temperature range. Did humans evolve the ability to make clothing and blankets because they were gradually getting less able to withstand cold? This is a completely impossible scenario. The question would then arise, why did primates evolve fur in the first place if they didn't need it? And why do equatorial apes of today still have their heavy outer coating? When humans migrated to the northern cold climates, they should have re-evolved fur. They didn't. Of course, the evolving fur, then disevolving fur, then not re-evolving fur scenario isn't plausible. The humans that migrated north became less survivable. They evolved fair skin, which is weaker than the dark-skinned equatorial versions. The invention of clothes would have had to precede the disevolution of fur and also the migration north. Otherwise, the first cold snap would have killed off the entire population. Could clothes gradually appear? How would the lady above do if she were dressed that way and had to survive for a year in the wilderness anywhere in North America? Just give food to a dog tied up outside and it would do fine in almost any weather conditions. In a recent TV show on evolution called Evolve, they tried to show how skin evolved. What usually shows in evolution documentaries is that evidence is always meant to fit the theory. And this program was no exception. Dan Lieberman, an evolution biologist at Harvard, had been running experiments to show that skin evolved from furry species so that humans could run and chase animals, animals that couldn't sweat through their tongues while running because for some reason they had to run with their mouths closed. And if the primates could chase them for 10 or 15 minutes, the animal would become hyperthermic and die, making a good meal for the chaser. Also, I was trying to imagine the number of species that we humans could run down. In reality, we can't run down jackrabbits. It turns out there's a group of African natives who do chase down a particular animal that does become hyperthermic and die. Is this the type of minor event that one would expect would cause the incredibly major shift in traits that would remove all of the all-weather outer covering from humans? We're way low on Mount Improbable on this one. Nina Jablonski, Ph.D., also described how humans disevolved their fur so they could stay cool in the hot African equatorial areas, and that sweat would help keep our brains cool. So we evolved larger and more intelligent brains, so then we had to disevolve all of our all-weather outer covering and start sweating from our skin? It seems quite strange that no humans today have furry outer coats. If this scenario were true, wouldn't it be logical that at least some human groups would have kept their covering and not needed clothing? Evolutionists say they have all of the steps that show the gradual evolution from simple to complex eyes. Where are those for the evolution from all-weather coatings to skin? Where are these intermediates? Where are the species that would show partial skin evolution? Where are these guys? Why don't we see skin advertisements for these people?